Hi, first of all, I know it's already July and I haven't posted a June or July bullet journal video. So I'm really sorry for that because I said that I'm gonna be consistent every month with posting my bullet journal videos, but I just haven't had the time to edit this video because I filmed this video in the start of June and I just did not have the time. No, okay, I am lying. I am straight up lying to you. I'm just really, really, really good at procrastinating. So yeah, if you're interested of buying a course from me, I'm just releasing a masterclass on procrastination <laughs> because I am the master of procrastination. Uh, I'm just... I'm really bad. I was literally procrastinating for a whole month and now I'm procrastinated filming my July video because I can't film another video if I haven't finished my previous one. So yeah, I'm just spiraling into procrastination and just delaying my tasks because I haven't finished this June video. I've literally had my whole life on hold. I haven't done nothing for the whole month now because I haven't finished this video. So, so now I've given myself an ultimatum. I'm either gonna skip it and not gonna post it or I'm gonna post it today. But skipping it feels wrong because I've already filmed it and I really like the layout of this June bullet journal so it would really be a shame to not post because it turned out really pretty and so yeah, sorry for being late. Probably none of you care, but yeah, still sorry. <laughs> but now let's just get into my June bullet journal. Oh, I haven't really introduced myself. If you don't know me, I'm Maya. I'm a typical Virgo and I really love bullet journaling and bullet journal videos. So last year I decided to start making my own. And so that's what you will find on my channel. And if you're also into bullet journaling, subscribe and join my community of bullet journal lovers. I really want to say that I post bullet journal videos every month. This month has kind of prevented me from saying that, but I can say that I try to make bullet journal videos of every month, every bullet journal spread that I do. So yeah, subscribe if you want to and let's just get into my June bullet journal. So for the theme of my June bullet journal layout, I decided on a blue theme because blue really just represents the start of the summer for me. Well, blue could also be like used for winter, but blue paired with like flowers represents like the start of the summer for me. I don't know why. It just gives up that vibe to me. Maybe because I'm connecting the summer to going to the sea and just swimming and that I'm going really deep into this blue color. So yeah, just the theme of the bullet journal is blue and flowers. This is my first theme for which I did not have like a inspo Pinterest photo for it because I usually just search on Pinterest for my inspiration and pick photos which I want to recreate but change it a little bit to fit my aesthetic but this was the first time when I wanted to challenge myself a little bit with not recreating others bullet journals but creating my own. You could probably still find a lot of bullet journal spreads which look like this because I don't think you could be really really original because a lot has been done in this space but so when I usually do my bullet journals I have a Pinterest board of other bullet journals which I want to like recreate and take inspiration from but for this one I didn't have that I only have like an inspo board with the shapes or the lettering which I wanted to use here so that's why it's kind of special to me even though it's not the prettiest of the spreads that I've done this year. As you saw from my first index page I chose a simple layout of just a swirl of flowers going up the page and with the June in the center. I've already said that in my previous video these index pages are not useful at all but I think they're really pretty for like the start of the month and for every month it feels like I'm going into a new chapter with a new theme and so that's why I really like doing them. If you're a minimalist and you really like just useful things you could just skip this page if you doing your own bullet journals and so if you're really focused on the useful part of the bullet journal then you will not find this page useful but if you're not that utilitarian and you like artsy stuff like I do then the index page will also be useful just because it represents the start of the month and as I said then when you're looking back at the bullet journal and just flipping through the pages it really looks pretty and it kind of makes more sense when you're flipping through the pages and every month starts with a pretty page which shows the new theme of the month. Now for my habit tracker for the month of June I decided to track my habits of reading. I tried to read every day. I I didn't read every day, <laughs> but I still read a lot. Then I tracked my journaling, which did not go well. I also tracked taking my vitamins and working out. On these two, I really did good. I worked out a lot in June and I really tried to take vitamins almost every day. Then I tracked my stretching because I want to do the splits. Going on a walk. In the month of May, I was honestly kind of lacking on filling out my bullet journal, which I really, really wanted to do every day, but I wasn't doing it every day. So I decided to also track that habit of writing in my bullet journal every day. And then for my last habit, I was tracking my habit of brushing my dog's teeth. So I only wrote Sharky because his name is Shark and it looked better than if I wrote brushing my dog's teeth or brushing teeth or something like that. So I only wrote Sharky. I feel that I say this in every video that I do. For the next spread, I do a mood tracker and a little about my day because I don't really believe that only tracking my mood would contribute anything to my life or boosting my mood. So with tracking my mood and writing a little bit what happened that day, I can see what makes me feel good and what affects my mood so that I can look back on what happened that month on every day and I can then also connect what makes 
makes me feel better and what makes my mood better and what makes me sad makes my mood worse. And I'm also a really forgetful person so I found that it's really useful to have written something about my day on every day because then I can look back and see what I've done even for the past week or for the past month. And yeah, that's why I combined these two mood tracker and a little about my day spreads. Usually in my bullet journal videos we also talk about what I'm watching, what I'm reading. So now I really want to talk about this. I just started watching Game of Thrones. So go in the comments and tell me all of the spoilers that you know about Game of Thrones is something what a psychopath would say. Don't do that, please don't spoil anything because I'm watching it with my boyfriend and we're only a few episodes in. You know how watching series is with your boyfriend. I am a professional binge watcher of every series that I watch. I binge them, but with my boyfriend I can't do that, you know, because we can watch one part every, I don't know, day or something like that. We are going slowly, so please don't spoil anything. <laughs> but tell me in the comments if it is worth watching it. For now it's going really well, but I've heard some people say that it's not worth watching. And a lot of people, I know there was a big hype about that series, but I wasn't watching it back then. So tell me in the comments if you watched it and if you did, tell me if you liked it or if you didn't. But please don't spoil anything, I was joking before. <laughs> For my monthly June spread, I think this one is my favorite out of all of my June spreads. As you will see, I created like a backsplash of the same flowers that I've been using throughout the whole spread and put the monthly calendar in the middle. When it's done, I think it looks so clean with the backsplash and with the whole page being filled out because usually when I do monthly spreads, I doodle something around them. I haven't created like something throughout the whole background of the page. So tell me in the comments if you also like the look of this. If you also like how the whole page is filled out with the calendar in the middle, in my opinion, it really looks good. The only thing that I tried to fix and did and did fix it later is the name June because I wrote it in a light gray. And then when I was done with drawing the whole calendar and creating the doodles around it, I first thought that it kind of blended in the page and it wasn't that good visual wise and that you can't kind of see it on the page. So I tried to fix it with a darker gray, but then it looked worse. And then I tried to fix it again, made it all black and then it looked really, really bad. So at the end, I, I was doing this for like a half an hour. I don't know. I don't know how long, but it was long. So at the end, I decided to just write out the June lettering separately and paste it on the page. And I think it just kind of fixed it. I'm not really happy with how that looks. So this is the only thing on the page, which I'm not really sure about how good it looks. But for overall this page, I really, really liked it. In my previous bullet journals, when I did my highlight reel, which if you don't know, this is a bullet journal spread where I paste a few photos of that month and it's like an album. And when the bullet journal is all filled out, this is usually my favorite page of the month and in my past highlight reels I really liked how the pictures looked with frames around them so I draw a lot of frames on this page and this is how it looks right now when it's empty this page kind of looks boring but when it's filled out it looks the best you're still here oh my god I appreciate you so much for watching my video oh my god thank you thank you thank you thank you so much if you're still here comment down below this emoji just so I know who watches my videos until the very end because I'm really really thankful for you and for being here with me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Tell me in the comments how do you like this spread. I think it turned out really cool looking and I hope that your summer is going as lovely as mine is. I've been on some spontaneous trips, which I love, and this week I'm going to see Arctic Monkeys at a concert. Oh my god, I am fangirling so much. And this is it for my June Bullet Journal video. I'm sorry again for posting it a little bit late, a lot a bit late, but okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Have a nice summer. Bye!